Amazing, primed and ready to go and chase a little paper. I give up things in the world to me, creator. Long as I stay strong, it's gonna make me greater. This is what I came with assembly. What's required? Now the battery included. I needed power. Didn't know that in myself was untapped power. Now I'm in at the moment. So the NFT news I have for you this week, guys, is going to focus on a very special project. The project I'm talking about is Audius. Okay. Audius can definitely be proclaimed as the future of blockchain music it's the future of the music business not only that guys i have a very personal relationship with this blockchain you know i have a story for you i'm gonna break it all down for you in this episode but i'm also going to give you some more important news we're going to talk about render for a second it's not anything recent but we're going to go back in time to august 27th of 2020 this is when Render Otoy, which is their production arm, NVIDIA and Google came together, guys. I just wanted to share this information with you because I want you to see the strength of the power that Render already had established before this major run that we see right now. But we're going to start with this one, quite possibly <laughs> the most entertaining headline I've seen all week. Okay. Valued at $9 billion. Pokemon Go creator is building a metaverse. Pokemon Go essentially was a metaverse, <laughs> and now they're about to go full steam ahead, guys. So let's just jump into this and figure out what in the world is going on. It states that Niantic, the developer, the developer of the popular augmented reality mobile game Pokemon Go is planning to build a real world metaverse with newly raised funding. The company will officially announce Monday the completion of a $300 million raise from the technology focused investment manager Kotu, bringing the company's valuation to $9 billion. Kotu is known as a major investor in the cryptocurrency and blockchain industry, backing companies such as blockchain intelligence firm Chainalysis, crypto startup Fireblocks, and blockchain security firm Certic X. The firm has also recently participated in a $555 million uh, funding round for cryptocurrency fintech startup MoonPay. It states that Niantic is building a platform for AR based on a 3D map of the world that we believe will play a crucial role in the next transition in computing. This is coming from the general partner, Matt Mazeo of Co2. He continues, we are excited to partner with Niantic because we see this infrastructure supporting a metaverse for the real world and helping to power the next evolution of the internet. Guys, this is big on so many levels because they're not necessarily taking Pokemon Go and metaversing it. They're using the technology that they developed with Pokemon Go and metaversing that. So that's even that has just as much of an impact as if they uh, as as if as it would if they were to just go, OK, Pokemon Go now has a metaverse version. <laughs> OK, so. This is still there because the underlying technology is going to be applied to the metaverse. So that's important. Now, Ninantic did not explicitly say that its metaverse would implement any aspects of blockchain technologies, NFTs, or cryptocurrencies. He states that we are building a future where the real world is overlaid with digital creations, entertainment, and information, making it more magical, fun, and informative. So again, this would be more along the lines of what Meta is looking to do. But at the same time, we have to remember that now there are countries and governments looking to start their metaverse operations. OK, so this piece here is very important. It's very important because with the nine billion or so from KOTU and as well as others, you can guess that some of those other investors have ties that will lead up to different government bodies. Because like they stated, there isn't any word that this will be, let's just say blockchain focused or metaverse focused in a fashion that we're accustomed to. They're just deciding to build the infrastructure 
for a real world metaverse okay that is still just as massive guys and if you don't know pokemon go the reason why it caused so much hysteria once it released was because of the amount of data that was being moved around okay not to mention and i know you guys have probably seen this before but the groups of people walking through downtown areas looking at their phones and walking into traffic that that is what we're going to look forward to so when i saw this i was immediately hooked in i said wait a minute well of course if Niantic is getting into the metaverse game they produce pokemon go this is a sure shot okay so this we can look at this i guess from an investing perspective Niantic would be the company or KOTU those would be the companies that are associated with a form of blockchain technology okay now of course he said that they haven't released anything yet but the way everything is headed guys there will be a blockchain involved if not there will be blockchains that will participate in this to take advantage of the technology that Niantic is giving us so that's big guys Pokemon Go creator is getting into the metaverse it's official now it's official but let's go and hop into our time machine slightly let's go back in time to the grand old year of 2020 okay we're talking August 27th guys the day that Oldtoy launches next generation NVIDIA A100 GPU nodes on Google Cloud all right now right away in the headline we have Nvidia and we have Google now I just posted a short uh about four days ago where the CEO and founder of Nvidia was envisioning his he was sharing his vision for the metaverse and how corporations can you know save on waste and make use of metaverse simulations and when it comes to product testing and so forth and so on so nvidia's place is proven it's solidified but the story goes old toy is thrilled to launch the render enterprise tier featuring next generation nvidia a100 tensor core gpus on google cloud with record performance surpassing 8000 octane bench which was their previous processor this milestone was reached on a google cloud accelerator optimized instance with 16 nvidia a100 gpus each a100 offers up to 20x the compute performance compared to the previous generation's processor with google cloud's nvidia a100 instances on old toys render enterprise tier artists can leverage octane renders industry leading unbiased spectrally correct gpu accelerated rendering for advanced visual effects ultra high resolution rendering and immersive location based and entertainment formats hmm <laughs> benchmark using octane render 2021.4 google cloud instances brings thousands of secure product production ready nvidia high performance gpu clusters to the octane ecosystem featuring both nvidia v100 with up to 3000 octane bench and nvidia a100 tensor core gpus now the wording that i just used in those two paragraphs was probably quite complex and not many of you with outside uh with the exception of maybe some gamers and some coders understood what i just said simply put guys the tech that we're seeing with render okay it's backed by the google cloud it's supported with nvidia technology those two companies they're at the top they're at the top of the pyramid so it's no surprise that and this was a year ago a year ago render was about 42 cents not not even in the in the in the low 30s honestly year later now we're sitting at about eight dollars almost now at time of recording guys it's pumping again so that's crypto that's why i love crypto guys but to explain the recent attention from render and why they as the metaverse came into the fold render was brought along with it just had to go back in history a little bit guys just had to go back in time but that's big for render guys make sure you take a look at that blockchain now let's get to the main event 
Twitter, Discord to support Solana NFT Gallery embedded with Audius Web 3.0, guys. Now, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that we were going to be focusing on Audius, and we we're going to be focusing on Audius for a number of reasons. Now, uh, before we get into this information, have the quick story for you to give you context on how I feel about Audius's place in the blockchain industry. Now, in October of 2020, shortly after the uh, render Altoy Google thing, I well, I was already on Audius starting in January. Okay, I was transitioning my library over to some new platforms, just trying to spread, stretch out a little bit. You know, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, I was all over the place, right? But the crypto thing started to accelerate, blockchain, I started to focus more on that. So naturally, I asked the question, okay, are there any blockchain music platforms? I ran into a couple, uh, MusicCoin, Loom.fm, those two, they were okay, but they did not have the interface that Audius had. It was real easy to use, okay? So this is February of 2020. I get on there, uh, create my account, upload all my music, do my art and graphics. It was the easiest upload process I had ever experienced, okay? So I was in, I was locked in. Um, at that time, I would have to tell you guys, there were less than 10,000 artists on the platform. The app itself was only downloaded about 10,000 times back in February. So there were, it was probably less than that, okay? So with that, I was very early. And by the end of 2020, I want to say around, yeah, October, definitely. I'll never forget this date. I received an email from Audius. You have received 10,000 audio tokens. Now, guys, full disclosure, I'm going to tell you, they pretty much sent me $5,000. Five, the equivalent of $5,000, okay? Now, that may not be a stupid, insane amount, but for me at the time where I was at and the music thing, that was the most compensation I had ever received from, from my music in any form. From that moment on, I was locked in. I was all about audience, okay? Now, and I had a video on a previous channel where I told this story, and that video caught a lot of attention. I received a lot of followers through audience, so forth and so on. But I tell you that story, guys, and we're about to get into this info, but I tell you that story, of course, to give you context, okay? And to give and to share with you my personal experience with this particular blockchain, okay? And the reason why I haven't given you guys a number of updates on it all throughout the year, but if people ask, I will definitely tell you, and it's on my Power 42, is because I wanted to capture Audius for what it is. Giving you constant news updates on a blockchain like this is not valuable. But if I find a way to highlight the usability of Audius, and I have, <laughs> as you can see by the promos at the beginning of the video, then I feel like that will give you a better version of the value. So with that, guys, expect to see Audius a lot more on this channel in the form of an Audius artist spotlight. OK, we're going to start helping some of these artists on Audius get some more exposure, guys. That's going to be a lot of fun. But getting into the information, guys. California-based music streaming platform Audius released a new function that allows artists and fans to embed non-fungible tokens on various blogs and social media platforms, such as Twitter and Discord. The embedded functionality aims to improve fan engagement for musicians through NFT adoption and Web3 integrations. To enable the feature, artists need to connect their Audius accounts with the Phantom Wallet, a crypto wallet centered around the Solana ecosystem. System, aiming to increase the discoverability of Solana's NFTs, the company stated that NFT holders can embed their collectibles from the two biggest blockchains on Twitter timelines, personal blogs, and websites. Thanks to this new feature, we'll further push collectibles into the mainstream. Now, right away, guys, the names that we heard in then first couple paragraphs, Twitter, Solana. We already know <laughs> how, how deep Twitter and Solana goes in this blockchain industry. 
um, another thing I want to point out here. Audius was listed on Coinbase Ventures portfolio a long time ago, before the crypto.com listing, before the Coinbase listing. That is another way that I actually found the platform it was, you know, digging through their classified information. But the blockchain based music streaming platform hosts popular mainstream artists, including Katy Perry, Nas, the chain smokers and others, and has witnessed a seven fold increase in the number of users in 2021. So again, that just shows you guys this thing is catching steam, okay? When social media platforms allow for the use of JPEGs, the embedded functionality offered by Audius will display the NFT metadata. This will allow for artists to market and sell their collectibles. So another good thing, guys. Now, it continues by stating that third-party entities continue to experiment with features to attract and establish crypto community on social media platforms. Twitter has set an in-house team to in <laughs> to investigate decentralized applications. I don't know what that word is. Invigilate? Invi anyway, cryptos and blockchain. That essentially is just telling us, guys, Twitter is getting ready to come out with their decentralized exchange. I got the info on it that I felt fell along the lines of future tech. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But simply put, guys, when it comes to Audius, nobody else is doing it the way they are. Nobody is doing it how they're doing it. And they're working with some major players in the game. They already have the Coinbase backing. Now they're tied in with Solana and Twitter. Coinbase, Solana, and Twitter are staples in this era of blockchain. Okay. We've seen it all year. So any blockchain working with those two those you, you you're gonna want to keep your eye on that one guys now before we get out of here just want to show you what audius looks like of course this uh handsome fellow right there is on there guys you know digit hustle at da vinci v um like i said this is where you can find my whole catalog but this is what the feed will look like now i will tell you this the app i don't know why <laughs> but it's kind of it's a little slow little bit but i feel like we are getting ready for an upgrade and that will change surely but besides you know a slight issue with speed everything else on this platform is legit and it, it it's to be expected with the amount of integrations that are coming so but they'll address the speed issue i'm sure but as far as an artist goes for an artist this is a pretty smooth platform guys and here's the best part about it right now there isn't a situation where okay let's just say you do a cover for a song or you want to remix another artist's beat you know it's something we do in rap often we do you know freestyles over other beats and stuff like that you can post those on here without any worries of being having being copyright struck or anything like that that as of right now is pretty i look at that as a good thing because oftentimes with when artists do that they don't do that with the intention to sell it okay but the platforms that we want to post that type of music on don't understand that audius does okay so this is the it, it, it's what it's going to look like. The future of music, guys. This platform here is next generation SoundCloud. And if you were there for the SoundCloud era, you know SoundCloud changed the world. Okay. <laughs> they, they really did change the world, guys. But this is Audius. It's a very, very strong blockchain, very strong platform, guys. I would definitely advise you taking a look at it course if you want you can follow me on there too you know that's just choice is yours but <laughs> yeah now um let me see i did want to show you another feature guys there's notifications artists dashboard audio and rewards so when if you do go through the steps and set up a profile and things like that you'll ha they'll walk you through uh all of this but this is going to be a very important screen i currently don't have any right now but uh for the information that we got in the article you want to go to this screen and then 
connect other wallets. That's when you would connect your phantom wallet to your browser. And then that's when you can start, you know, moving your collectibles around. So just wanted to show you that page, guys. And then this is some other information there. They, you know, Audius itself is very active and engaging on this platform, which is another good thing, guys. A very, very good thing. So that's, yeah, this is Audius, guys. Uh, I don't know how else to give it to you, but this is the future of music. And I have been with this project, like I said, since February of 2020. That means that hmm, in February, and we're, we're close to two years, as that's how long I've been watching this project, going on two years, and I have yet to see anybody else take its spot and receive, and, 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 uh, receive the attention that it's received. So audience in case you guys are wondering yes i am all about the audience blockchain not only because of the personal connection but i see the technology i see how it's being used and yeah like i said no one else is no one there is no other competitors there is no other competitors so with all that being said though guys if you found value in this information you know what to do hit the like subscribe ring the notification bell so that way you never miss an update also if you're an artist on audience i'm looking to talk to you send me an email let's let's chop it up let's talk music let's talk blockchain i want to get i want to help bring exposure okay because you'll see yeah this is the platform is growing but these numbers are still kind of small they're still small so that gives us the opportunity to contribute to the growth of this blockchain guys and that's really what i want to do moving forward so with all that being said though guys you know where to reach me comment section send me an email links will be down in the description i also put the link to my audience profile so you can guys can check that out as well but with all that being said though you know what i'm gonna tell you have a great day have a prosperous day but most importantly, I'm never missing another day again. <laughs> and we making that money, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one.